Welcome back, everyone, to the Three Dudes Podcast for the second intro of the week. Uh, that's all right, Nathan. You know, some people uh, make mistakes, and that's all right. Uh, let's redo this. Broden over there on the left, Liam, Three Dudes Pants, get two sizes too big, big hog, nice sweatshirt. <laughs> this Shout is what out we talked. Yeah, this is this is what we talked about in the first intro. Um, but yeah, good to be back on the Three Dudes Podcast. We got Broden Wonderlick over here on the left, Liam Owens with the fit in the middle. Shout out, Carol. And me, myself, Easton Bennett over here on the right. I guess it's flip flop. You didn't want to talk about my clothes? I just, I can only give one outfit <laughs> plug a week. Yeah. And we got Nathan Pump on the sticks. Break. I, don't, yeah. I don't deserve that this time. Yeah, we just, we just got him on the sticks. We're not talking about him. He's being, we're going to cut a hole in the You ground. can still do the booster away, yeah. seat then. <laughs> yeah. You can still do that. People don't know because they didn't hear it. But we're going to put Nathan on like a drum riser. We're going to lift him up, you know, how drummers have it on the back of the stage. But now that he messed up the recording, we're going to dig a hole in the ground and, and lower him. Gonna, yeah. That actually is sink him down. also a uh, musical thing where I'm pretty sure that like, I wonder if it's like plays or like live, act, whatever. Yeah. Like the theatrical. The, yeah. Like the, the music is down below the stage and the, com- the yep. conductor is up above. Yeah. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's set for a certain group, whether it's. I don't know, percussion or woodwinds or Yeah, I've strings. seen that because when we were in high school, Mana High has under their stage, they have an area for the instrument players, I'll call them. At Mana High? Yeah. There's a little area. It's new? There. It's not super big. Uh, it's more of a crawl space. Speak, speaking <laughs> of Mana High, up at the new high school, they have the theater going up. Yep. The place is massive. Oh, Mana North. Yeah. Up at the new school. It is insanely large. You getting your hands dirty in there? Yeah, a little bit here and there. Like the theater, like for the theater kids? Yeah, like the auditorium a- area. That's where we're for, putting our For money. the uh, thespians. <laughs> nice. The thespians, yeah. yeah. And it's called a pit. A musician's ah, pit. A musician's pit. A mosh pit. pit. Yeah. Nathan, any- was a, Nathan was in the musician's guild, so. Were you? Guild. I played bass. Yeah. Like bass guitar no, or like no, the, the bass? The uncool one, that you, the upright yeah. bass. With the strings. The upright what's, bass. What's not cool about that? Every, he's yeah. like, you know, the fact that it's a hundred yeah. pounds, you have to carry it home it's every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. Uh, but I was uh, at the Hoost Fest this yesterday and uh, I saw a really sweet bluegrass band and they had a bass bass player just plucking away. Is that the one that sounds like dong, 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 dong. That's how I. Yeah, sure. Close, right? Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you can right make that assortment of yeah. noises with them. Yeah, it, they would turn around. Mm-hmm. If I started doing that. Yeah. They'd be like, eh, I think he's talking about me. Yeah. Whose fest was this? You went though. Yeah. I went. Yeah, I went. I went for uh, for pleasure. You went for business. Yep. I went for pleasure for like 30 minutes on Friday. I, I went, still had a camera, but hey, nice. I went for pleasure for eight hours. Oh, yeah. Must be nice. No, it wasn't oh. because I get my fill of the Who's fest in about an hour or two. Yeah. And then it's me following my mom around. So one. what's the rundown like when you go there? What's your fill? What's that one to two hours consist of? Uh, I cuisine? Need, I need yeah hour of cuisine. I got to hit everything that I want to eat. Rice pudding, Viking on a stick. Actually, I didn't end up getting the Viking on a stick because... My first time having a Viking on a stick was this year. You missed out, dude. Back in like... Unreal. Yeah, back in like 2013, Viking on a stick was phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what it was. What like, happened to it? Uh, Took the Viking Inflation, out. mostly. So they stopped. Uh, you can't have fryers inside that building anymore for some reason. So now they have to make them outside and then bring them in. They went woke. Pretty much. And. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Disgustingly removed headphones. That uh, And then they're like much smaller. Like the Viking on a stick used to be like this big. It was oh, a, really? It was a giant meatball. Yeah. And now they're like this big, like small. Yeah. For the people that are listening don't know what it is. It's a deep fat fried meatball. Yeah, it's just a giant meatball. You cover that thing in mustard and just go in. Yeah, mine was about, uh, I'd say, slightly smaller than a baseball. Tennis ball maybe would be. Uh, Yeah. But yeah, I mean, if it was softball, They used to be softball. softball. Yeah, they they were pretty much that big. And maybe this is just in correlation to me being in 2013. You know, it looked bigger. Yeah, everything. Look, you picked it up in your tiny little child, 13-year-old hands. Yeah. Well, 2013, I would have been 15 or 16. 16. Minus I graduated 10. in 18. Wait. 10 years ago. Yeah. What year were you born? No, I graduated 97. in 2016. I graduated, yeah. I was born in You don't remember what year you graduated. We're throwing a lot of numbers around right now. <laughs> All right. Can you it's give numbers. me a little grace here? 
Good heavens. And it, it it doesn't matter, but yeah, you know, little kid hands, big old ball in there. It's yeah. big ball. Yeah, it's like showering with your dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just can't get enough of it, right? It's yeah. Just, it doesn't fit in one hand. Uh, oh, Husfest, good time though. I never know how to pronounce it. If it's who's fest, who's fest, fest. who's fest. the fest. I just made that up. Uh, really good time. We filmed some videos there, so that was super cool. And interviewed some of the artisans, which just I call them craft makers. There really, also guy interesting. On a, uh, uh, I want to say it was a pole lathe. You know what a Making lathe the bowls? is, right? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. There's mechanical ones. He was just yeah. He was doing the old oh, yeah. Cleveland stomp to the. Yeah. Did and you just, get any of his shavings? I did. Catch him in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> I got all his shavings. Um, so super cool to see. And then there's some painter that uh, was painting Icelandic paintings. Are you sure there were pictures? Uh, no, they're paintings. I watched him do it. I time lapsed it. Oh, cool. It's really cool. Yeah. Uh, his name is Sven. Cool. Where is he from? Did you catch that? Svenland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he was from Cody, Wyoming. Really? Yeah. But Svenland would have been way better. Yeah, I would. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, did you Sweden, see Sweden? Sweet, yes. <laughs> Svenden. Uh, it was a good time though. Did you see? Uh, <clears throat> did you walk past that booth that that guy was? Uh, he was making pictures of wildlife on like feathers and stuff like that. I don't know if I saw that. Oh. Long Which story short, yeah. Liam came home with a very expensive painting from that guy. Check it out. I like to. I like this. I dude. It's I so a, cool. I actually. bought a bottle of mead. So it's a. I I didn't um, buy ooh. a bottle, but I had about twenty eight <laughs> shot glasses. <laughs> you on had it. a bottle. I go. Mm, yeah, that one's pretty good. Yeah, and tried another dude, one. Dude, yeah. Have you had mead before, bro? No. I'll, I was gonna I got make some it. upstairs. I forgot. I didn't even make it to the host fest this year. I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Check that out. Zoom in if you'd like to. So that is a, a that is a full. Like real turkey fan, oh yeah. So off a, off a real turkey, and he fan like you you would like sp- spread it out and then like sprinkle like borax or something on the base of it, so it stays there. Chlorophyll, more like and then, chlorophyll. <laughs> and, uh, Sorry, I just thought of that. That's fine. And then uh, he paints he paints these pictures right on them. Dude, painting is such a fascinating. Uh, Nathan, write down the timestamp there. I'll have to add that on there. Um, the photo. It, it is. Send it to me. It's a painting's fascinating, dude. So I, I'm not a painter. Guilty pleasure of mine that I just found out the other day. I don't even know if you'd call it that, but I got lost in about an hour of Bob Ross videos. Oh man. So cool. I think it's because of his voice. It wasn't even that. It was just watching it. You could have put, uh, but his voice is pretty good, but his watching him do it is insane. Yeah. He's so good at it. Have you seen the Bob Ross where he, they put all of his paintings like together and, and they, and morph they into all each other? make a full size. It's yeah. like he's moving through the valley. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. It's yep. nuts. It's actually fascinating. I used to <clears throat> paint. No, he used to get mind altering substances and then I watch. used to smoke a little weed and watch Bob Ross. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, happened? guilty. Yeah. yeah. In my younger days. Hey, our past is our was, past. Yeah. It was sweet though. Yeah. I might have really, been. There it was it was a it was a really nice experience. Yeah. I believe it. Yeah, painting's really cool. If there's one thing I wish I could do, you know, just one brush stroke can change a person's life. It's a Bob Ross quote. Dude, it's <laughs> you nerd. <laughs> it's not. Is it not? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Bob Ross says uh there's no mistake. It's just happy Davis. accidents. Oh yeah, he does. That's what that's one of those say? things. He said it was Jim Davis. <laughs> Jim Davis. The golfer. It. Yep. But, yep. uh, oh, I was just about to say something. No, just about painting in general. Like drawing, painting, super, like people can, some people can just do it. Yeah. It's the weirdest thing. Like my buddy, Matt, super talented at drawing. Really? Yeah. Drawing is different than painting, I feel like. Yes, well, for sure. One of them. One has an erasure. Well, if I, if I was to draw something with a pencil and then instead of holding a pencil, I had paint. Well, you can undo no, like drawing and painting are definitely different. Until you in their the style, sh- in their styles, yeah, probably. But like you're still doing a picture or something, or like yeah. a scene. But yeah, like the way like, you are. Yeah, we're not talking about people like doing drywall. They're like no. It's big also, picture. a talent. It is a talent. Yeah, it's paintings. Like now we're moving into different painting, but yeah. painting like a house. It's so fun for like eight minutes. No. And then it sucks. And then your person closest to you is so ready to get punched for some reason. Yeah. And you're like, man, I just want to be done painting. I can't say you have some good square footage in this house. I mean, yeah. doing your living room, that had to 
had to have taken a little bit. Yeah, I cheat. I uh, I just don't paint and then let other people do it, and I act busy. Me too. Yeah. I went to, my dad came to visit a few months ago, and when he came back here to visit, I worked the whole week, and he stayed at my house and made renovations on my house <laughs> while I was at work, Got and it. I felt terrible about it, but. Hey, that's what parents are for. They like it. Deep down, they'll give you shit for it. Like, oh, you owe me one. Yeah. But they like it. They do. They yeah. like seeing you progress in life, you know? Oh, yeah. So my dad said he'll never paint again. Um, but yeah, let's get into this week's topic, the 13 colonies. I've been holding on to this one for quite some time. You love the 13 colonies. I do. I don't know why I'm so fascinated. Everyone's just, got their thing, man. Yeah. Everyone, we don't kink jam here. Oh, hell no. We yeah. kink oh. encourage. Yeah. I want you to have more of them. <laughs> I, I think you should explore a little bit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like that. Kink and courage. <laughs> uh, put that on a t-shirt. By the way, uh, we got some, we got a gentleman that's overseas that is pretty cheap to do some graphic design. So I'm going to email him back tomorrow. See if we can get some of these t-shirts made up. Really? The Moonseum. Uh, kink and courage we could do. What's another one? Um, Old Monk Donald. I, oh man, there's got to be. Pipe Assassin. Pipe Assassin. <laughs> Uh, that was a silly one, but there was a really good one that I don't know that we were going to do. We could do the Yoda. It's just like an Italian looking Yoda. It's yeah. just like a guy that's a green face. <laughs> Danny DeVito, but with Yoda ears or <laughs> <Yes>. something. <laughs> yeah. Man, no, no uh, if you guys any, have any ideas, did we have any made of t-shirts or no? Uh, no, I don't think so. Which we should. I know we're right mi- I know we're missing one. Hey, you want to add that? You want to make a note right now? Make a note. That'd be good. Are you about, you uh, got access to it. can assassin. Can. can assassin would be sick too. I mean that, that? In, in general. It was Nathan something about Yeah, I was ripping beers behind the cameras and I was just doing it super quietly. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can assassin over there. Which honestly just That's as kinda, in general on a t shirt is pretty sick. Yeah. You talk like about that. you talk about you and some of your disciples going out on a weekend and just having a few cans, tipping them back and just murdering the cans for the oh, weekend. Yeah. yeah. You're all wearing togas. Yeah, you're all just assassined up. Yeah, that's I like what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, all right, so 13 colonies. Uh, 13 colonies, the original British colonies on the eastern coast of North America that formed the United States. I think I like it because it's like, this is our, this heritage. Is our heritage, man. This, this is, is where we our, start. Yeah. This is yeah. the birthplace of some kick-ass shit. Exactly. And these, these guys got shit done, too. They did. They were serious. They got more stuff done than most people. Yeah. Yeah. And they were all in the cigarettes too. <laughs> God bless it. Yeah. yeah. Pre vape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. None of that synthetic cancer. Yeah. No, serious. They Straight acoustic. Shit. No filter. Yeah. Straight acoustic, not electric. Acoustic. <laughs> acoustic. Uh, so there's actually three like sets of the colonies. Do you know what they're called? Uh, North, judicial, Middle, and Southern. Executive and legislative. You're actually right. Shut up. I will shut up because you're not right. Damn, dude. <laughs> we're talking you know about what? government branches. And you know, I knew I wasn't, and then you gave me hope. I'm just a sliver. Just one little sliver. Man, I probably have like could punch you in the face right now for doing that too. Farming, much. financial, and something else. I don't know. No, you got two out of the three, your first guess. You serious? The middle colonies, the southern colonies, and then the, the other ones. Oh, dude, you want to take one more stab? It's not northern. northern. It's not northern. Uh, upper? Eastern. New England. New England colonies. Yep. Nerds. Yeah. Just one nerd, man. I got the paper in front of me that tells me what it is. Is was it was there just one guy in that colony or what? Yeah. Are you calling the colonies nerds or me and Easton nerds? Just the New England nerds. Oh, oh. okay. I thought you were calling us nerds. I was like, yeah, just no. call him. Yeah, I'm like, it's just him, the nerd. I'm oh, reading. it's just it, you got it from thin air. I got it from Google. Yeah, but I mean, you could make a guess to that if you have any sort yeah. of pea brain and and. Yeah, they must have been. <laughs> they must have been some. Some chumps if they wanted to go, oh, we're going to be New England. We're not. Yeah, why? But why New England? Because they came. It's still New England. They're Patriots fans. (laughs) One of of them was Tom Brady dick riders is what they are. (laughs) Exactly. One one of them was uh, Gerald Belichick. Gerald Belichick. Yep. (laughs) Bill's great, 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 great. great. Through the years. Yeah. Of course. They didn't lose the lineage at all. You want to take a stab at which uh, colonies you think are in each of them? Do you even know the thirteen colonies? Not know? even a little. I I could. I know. I don't. He probably does. I don't know. I could gain them. You could guess, Liam. See how many you can get. Just think of the East Coast. I don't even. That's New- the right side of the map. <laughs> New York. <coughs> that Perfect. is not. 
Yeah, it is right there. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, <laughs> sonk. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? Can you stop gaslighting? Tell me what that means. Sonk? Yeah. It's just when you sonk somebody, it's just like you <laughs> trick them. Okay. Is that, it's, that's it, it started from Dion Phaneuf. He's a hockey player. Is it Dion Phaneuf? No, it's Keith Yandel. He would stand behind the net yeah. when he was playing the NHL, and there he would stop. So then a forward would stop in front of the net and be like a waiting game, yeah. right? So then he'd turn. He'd take a fake slap shot up the wall. And then the forward would bite yeah. and then he'd step out the other side and yell at him. He's like, sound. <laughs> and then he'd just skate away from him. Isn't, that isn't, awesome? it, isn't Keith great, Yandel dude. also the guy who would say thank you every time the goalie would give him the puck? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Thank you. So yeah, he'd fake a clapper. They'd yeah. step and then he'd have a step on him. Sound. <laughs> so he just, yeah, he's That's just out there great. sonking people. That's good. Good for him. Where's he from? What is that? He just made up that word. Yeah. He was a Rangers yeah. player, wasn't he? Funny. He played for, yeah, the Rangers, Florida. Um, I think he played for one other team. I can't remember. Yeah, but where's he like from birthplace? Uh, America. Nice. Is he American? About as much as I know. Yep. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Good for him. I want to say when you make Southwest. up when you make up a word, that's just it gets funny. into the lexicon. Yeah, yeah. spit and chicklets got into the lexicon, but I use it in everyday life, man. It's yeah, you're funny. just like right there. Yeah, I almost sonked you with saying New York wasn't it, but I know. I'm glad you didn't. You know, I hate when you do this to me. <laughs> when you tr- when you try to just it's for give me an opportunity. When you him? <laughs> no, when you give me an opportunity to appear smart and then I look dumb I'm because sorry. you were actually smart. Yeah, you were right. I well, okay, well, I I'm, I'm, I'm so far I'm one for th- I'm one, one for, for one, one out of thirteen. So we got yeah. a lot of yeah. dude, long ways to go. Like just think about New like Hampshire. you know Boom, two for two. Holy shit, I'm a genius. Like just don't <laughs> guess anything further west of that. Um Further west of that, just stay eastern. It's it's most likely going to touch the sea. You know what? The eastern part of the map has always been non-existent to me. <laughs> that, I mean, that remain that way. Everything I'm going to give there. you some more hints. Uh, uh, please. One of these. Uh, we'll just Philadelphia. Just, that's a city. <laughs> a city. Where is it at? Though? Yeah. What state is that in? Two. Also starts with a P. Mm. Pennsylvania. Yep. yep. Good. Uh, okay. Now you can think of, I think we should do rapid fire. I don't know how much our audience is going to love Liam balls deep in his mic. Thinking Dude, about- you got to give me these hints now. Okay, A North and South. Very small. Hampshire. Two words. No, North and South. South Hampshire. South Hampshire. <laughs> Dude, North and South. What? There's North and South Dakota. Carolina. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, one uh, first president. His name was Eisenhower. Dude. First president. What was his first name? George. Okay. What is a state? Georgia. There you go. God. <laughs> That's that far east. And then think about a, a woman's body part. Uh, and then what it sounds like as a state. Maryland. <laughs> yeah. What? What body That's part is that? Is that what you're thinking of? No. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say. What? <laughs> think of a woman's reproductive organ. What is that called? Virginia. God, man. Oh. <laughs> what were you thinking yes. of? Boobs. Boobs. Yeah. He's Boobs, yeah. Nipple. Yeah. What state is nipple? Uh, <laughs> South nipple. Uh, <laughs> South, East nipple. Yeah. Uh, I yeah. usually prefer the West. And then there's again. Delaware, there's Rhode Island, there's Massachusetts. Um, Connecticut. Connecticut. See? New Vermont. Jersey. Was Vermont part of it? No. New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island, Connecticut. There you go. You know what I, you know what I think it is? is that New Hampshire was, but when I was going through school... I would learn these things and I would pass the test and I would say, okay, there will never be another time in my life that I will need to recall this information. Well, you should have thought about and then I go, a podcast bing. in your future. And then one Those day, didn't even exist when I had to learn about And then one day someone's like, we're going to do a podcast on everything you've forgotten. And I, <laughs> and I stood there like a small child with an ice cream cone and I said, mm-hmm. you're like, I'll be the comic relief. <laughs> That's Here I am. Yeah. And Broden said, I'm going to remember Everything. <laughs> Bro, there's, there's, this is my time to shine. I've been waiting not, for someone to present me with I've this been, opportunity. I've been going to school for a lot of years. Finally, now I get to show what I've learned. <laughs> and retained. You actually went to the most school out of all of us. Uh, yeah, I only did one semester of I, college. I did two classes. Yeah, it, yeah, if I, you could even to, say I, went, I did one semester. I went to the irony. Over year just two, over a year. Your That's two awesome. classes are probably more classes than I made it to after the first two months. That's fair. I assure you, my first semester at MSU, which was also my only semester at MSU, I did not attend class. But I became 
a pool. Really job. good at pool. <laughs> yep. Because Skip class to go play pool in the in the in, lunch hall. Yep, thing. in the Beaver Dam. In the beat. Yep, still? in the beat. Yep. I would. Uh, I'd be sitting there, and my buddy Matt would come up, and he'd go, "You got class?" And I go, "Yeah." In like fifteen minutes, he goes, "Ah, uh, you want to skip?" I go, "I do." Yeah. <laughs> and that's all the twisting it took on my arm. You watch one too many Effie Rays. You just videos. needed somebody to make you feel not that guilty for skipping. Pretty much. Yep. Yep. And exactly. he skipped with you? Oh, yeah. It was a skip off? Yeah. Dude. Like two school girls. One of my, one of my, this story always makes Matt laugh. Uh, me and Matt were sitting, <laughs> after I skipped class, me and Matt were sitting in the Beaver Dam. And our buddy Ben Belinsky walked up who was in my class. And he goes, dude, where were you? We had a test today. And I go, oh, you win some, you lose some. (laughs) (laughs) And that's, I just left it at that. And I was like, oh, well, sometimes you hit a good one. Sometimes you hit a bad one. Yeah. Sometimes it may be good. Sometimes it may be (laughs) shit. Hey, yep. College isn't for everyone, man. And then I dropped out and now I. Doesn't matter. anyway. make make a pretty good. Now you're going back to class. And yeah, well, just for the rest of this year, just, yeah, just about done. I'm about my own house when I was, I was 24. Yeah. Right Where's Ben Belinsky at? Uh, married with a child. And no. I, he's probably has a pretty good life laid out ahead of him. <laughs> I'd imagine. I'm not exactly sure what he's doing for work, but yeah. He's doing it good. Though. He's also, yeah, yeah right. I think he's doing well. Hey, you know? Yeah. Nice guy. Two, two paths you can take. Yeah. Shout out to Ben. Known yeah. him for a long time. Good guy. And look at the Broden over here. He dropped out. <laughs> Lives in my basement. (laughs) (laughs) Does a podcast. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, I have my own podcast with some friends. Yeah. Yeah. So Liam went from dropping out to being a landlord. Yeah. And I went from dropping out to a land lead. Being a land bitch. Yeah. Hey, dude, you're saving so much money living with me right now. You're going to buy a mansion when you move out. No. He's like, no, I'm spending it elsewhere. Yeah. (laughs) I want to have a lot of cases of bush light when I move out. I'm going to live in a mansion of bush light. <laughs> bush light walls. Yeah. It's like That's those cement houses they built. <sighs> yeah. The pilgrims weren't doing that. Uh, so they were smoking cigarettes. I already told you. <laughs> uh, so did you know New York was actually uh, originally named New Amsterdam when the Dutch found it? I did. I do that. remember that. Yeah. Shut both up. knew that? I lied. I didn't. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> so the reason that these colonies were established is a combination of seeking better economic opportunities, religious freedom, and sheer adventure were the driving forces. I just, I think they're sick of the king. Sick that, that dude, that's awesome. Yeah, I remember the king was making them be some type of Christian religion, and they were like, "No, nah, dude, that's whack as shit." Yeah, we're gonna just get on this boat and see where the hell it goes, yeah. and then well, it turns out. Christopher Columbus came over here and murked a bunch of indigenous people. So that was pretty bad of him. So I knew it was over here. Mm-hmm. Not, so, a, not a great look. No, it was pretty bad what he did. Yeah. Schools didn't tell us that either. They, they, they propped him up to be. Dude, they, quite we the guy. gave him his own day for like 200 years. Did, did they the, take we, that we, away? We, yeah. Yeah. It's done now. It's like to who I think it switched from Christopher Columbus. I celebrate <laughs> <laughs> every day. I've never missed a day. <laughs> <laughs> Kind of blocked off my calendar. 26 yep. years. <laughs> never Every year. Day. Thank you, Christopher what, Columbus. What is the best way to celebrate Christopher Columbus Day? Is it just to <laughs> belittle minorities? Is that <laughs> the best way to celebrate? Did you guys figure out what it was replaced by? or what? Was it replaced by No, something? I'm pretty sure it's like Native American Heritage Day or Indigenous, Indigenous People's yeah, Day. Yeah, there you now. go. Yep. Yeah. Don't they get enough of those? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> They get a whole month. Uh, they do. Yeah. No. Do they actually? <laughs> yeah, they have. A, there's Native American Heritage Month or something mm-hmm. like that. American Indian Heritage Month. It's crazy that schools Serious? taught us how he's a great guy, though. and they get a day. Yeah. So they get a month, month and a day, and what do we get? What is the day in the month? I don't know. The other three hundred. I don't know. Three days, baby. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> they were these people got a wild hair up their ass, and they decided to explore. <laughs> <laughs> they were they, they were, were tired of the church. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and before they left let's talk about them coming over would you guys have gotten on a ship across the atlantic well yeah the mayflower dude with the ship with a name like that you have to get on it you think so 
I'm not oh, editing this, man. Jim. <laughs> I'm not editing this. <laughs> it's going out raw. Well, it's fine. Uh, this is a comedy podcast, and these things are not supposed to be taken seriously anyway. Good. Maybe that's what they said, bro. And they were going. <laughs> that's what Christopher there. Columbus was saying. Why are you so serious? Yeah, dude? just get on the ship. You're fine, <laughs> dude. It's just so Christopher joke. Columbus was it's on a the prank, Mayf- bro. Chill out. Was Christopher yeah. Columbus on the Mayflower? No, he was on the Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. He was all on three? all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Had to be. Why? <laughs> Who else is going to drive him? Yeah, well, I suppose. I guess he was the only person that knew where it was. <laughs> <laughs> so, not like he ran into it. Well, he le- he actually ran into like the Asia. Dominican or something. <laughs> Asia. Yeah. But no, he he was a little bit south. He w- he was yeah, he was in the Gulf of Mexico. Like in the Caribbean somewhere. Or was that Ferdinand Magellan? No, he went all the way around. Ferdinand Magellan's an awesome name. That Ferdinand, I just like that name in general. Yeah. Are Friends. we sure he went all the way around? Ferdinand No, he actually died before about a month before he could do it. I was going to say are we sure? But yeah. his crew. Dude, this is coming full circle to the podcast. Our first episode was on conquerors and explorers. Was is this really? our last episode? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, guys, so it might quit. be. Wow. Yeah. It might we be. quit. <laughs> after, after some <laughs> we'll of these let the things. people decide. <laughs> this might be our last. Dude. Uh, that's fine. No, uh, that's You know what? That's the, And I'm going to say it. That is the only difference between us currently not making millions of dollars. It's the fact that we're not just... Comp- monstrously famous because the things that we are saying right now to try to edit ourselves and stay small are the same things that comedians say right now that make them big that yeah that make them hilarious yeah but since we're a no name podcast so we just have to be a little bit more for now prejudice yeah Ron's like so we have to race it up let's start now i can't you know what i'm sick i'm sick of holding my tongue maybe you can't i don't think any of us really should is it's time to get racist. What would Jesus do? <laughs> I'm WWJD. <laughs> what would Jesus do? Yeah. What would WWCCD? What would Christopher Columbus do? I could tell you. Terrible things. Yeah. He would do. Yeah. Uh, okay. So we've got this far. On the- <laughs> Good That's and fine. It's been, notes. what, 45 uh, minutes probably now? Yeah. So let's talk about uh, the migration and everything. So the Mayflower, like Broden said, uh, probably the most famous ship, I would say. Uh, Titanic. Okay, probably the most famous ship the pilgrims <laughs> <laughs> claim to be their own. Good <laughs> rebuttal. That, yeah, you got me there. Uh, brought the pilgrims to Plymouth, Massachusetts in 1620. Plymouth Rock, baby. Is that where rock music was invented? <laughs> yeah, Elvis <laughs> got off the ship, <laughs> took a piss right on that rock, claimed it. Uh, That's why it's rock and roll. Mm-hmm. How, how long do you think it? <laughs> The, the piss? How long was the piss? Come here, mama. <laughs> How long do you think the journey was? Uh, 11 months. 13 months. 66 days. Not oh, very shit. far. <laughs> Three months? Wow. <laughs> Not two, even two months. Two months. <laughs> two and some change. That's all it takes uh, to the wind to push you across the ocean? Yep. Strong wind. Two months Had to all? be strong wind. If you... If you play with the wind right, you'd have to you have to turn the sails. How long bit. would it take the three of us? So long, sixty-five days, dude. To yeah. add Nathan, though, he's a bit of a handyman. Seconds. Yeah, longer, <laughs> <laughs> longer. Because we'd have to stop because you'd have to piss so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, uh, one hundred two passengers, including families, uh, made it to the New World. Not all passengers on the Mayflower were seeking religious freedom. Some were there for economic opportunities, wanted to start a business over there. Like that, that's a, a wild idea. Cigarette farm. <laughs> <laughs> Plucking it right off the cigarette <laughs> tree. Already rolled and everything. Yeah. yeah. You think, yeah. wait, vine or a tree? Man, a vine would be sick. Yeah, a cigarette, cigarette vine. vine. Yeah, that'd be yeah. cool. I that could go really for cool. the French would lose their mind. Oh my god! <laughs> great, a great vineyard and cigarette at the same time. <laughs> yeah, the French a people grape would. cigarette. <laughs> Ooh, that's Swisher sweets. <laughs> it's fair. My uh, grandpa would do unholy things for his cigarette vine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so the, I don't even think the Mayflower is the first one. Susan Constant, Godspeed, and Discovery. Is that ringing a bell? Those are three ships. 
brought English settlers to Jamestown, Virginia, 1607, so 13 years before the Mayflower, marking the first permanent English settlement in America. I thought it was, what's his face that, well, I can't think of his name, John something? Hancock. Oh, Jacques Cousteau? Oh, Inspector Clouseau? Pink Panther? Not the same guy. Oh. Similar names. Jacques Cousteau. Who's that? Uh, I think he was a deep sea diver. Hmm. Deep sea. He's a fish guy. You say that, and I'm thinking of Jacques Cousteau. Steve Martin and the Pink Panther, one of my favorite movies ever. That's Steve Martin? In the Pink Panther? Yeah, that's him. I have a book by Steve Martin. It's called Born Standing, or Born to Stand. Standing Born. It's a comedy book. Talks about his uh, life as a comic. He was He's a good French naval officer. French and naval officer. He was the co-creator of the first self-contained underwater underwater breathing apparatus. Uh, so well, like the first scuba, diving scuba suit. Gear, yeah. Oh, is that like the one with the big metal head and it's got like the one glass out the front? The SpongeBob tank. That yeah. wouldn't yeah. have. Well, it would have to have some sort of breathing apparatus built into you it. You want to pour me a shot in there? Kelp. Or just a shot of yeah. Kelp. Taylor Jerry's. Kelp. Oh yeah. We, it series. wouldn't be weeks at a time, maybe hour, hour 45. No problem. I, they would construct a series of breathing apparatus. Um, all right. Uh, let's move in past these ships because that's enough of that. Um, you know what they ate on the ship? Food consisted primarily of hardtack, dried meats, and beer. Hardtack. Hardtack. And you want to know what? I knew you were going to say that, so I got the definition right here. Uh, can I guess? Yep. Is it like toffee? <laughs> Um, no, hard tech. No. And what was the other thing you said, though? Dried meats and beer. Those two are pretty self-explanatory. So what would go with hard tech? Is it like a sort of bread? Yes. It's a simple dry biscuit or cracker made from flour, water, and sometimes salt. Hmm. Uh, contains minimal moisture. Hard tack doesn't mold or deteriorate, deteriorate easily, making it an ideal rotation for long journeys Ideal ration for long journeys or periods without access to fresh food. It doesn't deteriorate or mold. Correct. So why didn't they just bring Twinkies? It does, but it takes forever, Liam. Uh, because the guy in yeah. Zombieland took them all. Oh, shit. I forgot Woody Harrelson was yeah. actually like big pissed. Off. This was only 66 days. Yeah. They could have brought half a cow if they wanted to. Yeah. That's not that bad. Well, how, you said 102 cow. people, right? Made it. How many died? Um, I don't yeah. know. I don't have that on there. They didn't put that in the Nathan, ledger. Nathan, can you? How many people died from England to America on the Mayflower? We don't care about the other three. The yeah, whatever, whatever you said: blue, green, red ship. Joe, blue, green. Susan, constant, Godspeed, and Discovery. I'd like to name a ship. Only one person. Only one person died on the Mayflower. That's what it says. From what? A lot of people got sick, but only one person. Scurvy. Died. Yeah. <laughs> Scurvy. Scurvy. Doesn't say how. Doesn't say how. Shark got him. Jaws Arr. was there. That's how Jaws was inspired. Nathan the Mayflower. Nathan, you got to lean a little bit forward when you talk. You could sit back like that when you're not talking. but just Or you could move the mic like closer to your face. No, I don't, don't mess with it. Okay, Broden, go ahead and mess with it. Don't do that. Broden, you're careful. Careful. <laughs> um, all right. Some historical landmarks of the 13 colonies. Jamestown, Virginia. Virginia. The word you said earlier, what you were referring to. Oh, Jamestown, Virginia. Jamestown Snatch. (laughs) (laughs) Ding, ding, ding. That's where they landed. Yep. It snatched them up. (laughs) Yep, it sure did. (laughs) It always does. It couldn't stay away. Uh, Jamestown was the first permanent English settlement in the Americas. Uh, It was established on May 14, 1607 by a group of roughly... 100 settlers. They arrived aboard three ships, the Susan Constant, the Godspeed, and the Discovery. And then Bismarck was a couple years down the road. And then why not? Grand Forks Fargo. I was going to say, do you Holy think that's shit. where the inspiration came for us? Yeah, I would say so. You know what else? I think 100 people settling somewhere has got to be probably like the perfect amount. No, it's not. Have you ever been to Regent, North Dakota? Never heard of it. Yeah. They got 140 and it's <laughs> not reasonable. Now. Oh, okay. Not now. Yeah. But if you just enter somewhere and you need to now survive for the rest of your lives and you have a hundred people, then you get cool. You delegate 20 people to farming, 25 to getting shelter ready, stuff yeah. like that. And then five the casino stuff. employees. Yep. <laughs> you got to make sure you get the slots open. 
Yep. <laughs> maybe maybe some blackjack a little Slot, bit. So. See, see, what he's getting at is you abolish all taxes that they would implement. Yeah. And you just open a casino and, well, whatever the house wins is basically tax money. Yeah, but the fun thing about that is they didn't have a currency. There was they only just, oh, they people. bartered. They bartered with furs what and are you gonna, cigarettes. Aren't you all on the same team? What do you mean currency for what? People need to eat and survive. There's only a hundred of you. Yeah, but people are greedy and stupid, man. But I agree with you. I this think a hundred. I think a hundred people would be like the perfect amount of no, like people to. Why a hundred? I just, there's I enough just think, to I, have variety in brain power and differences in yeah. thinking, but small enough to where like you're not trying to feed a thousand. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you're not trying a to lot, feed a lot. A lot of those people can probably feed themselves, and if not them, like. They can help, but it's not too many people that there's going to be an overthrow. There's got to be one weird duck, though. There's you probably a, got a hundred. Got a there's I bet you there's 13 weird ducks. You think so? And they yeah, each went to their own colonies. <laughs> but <laughs> said we're starting our own. Oh, yeah. do you have anything in there about the Roanoke Island where they, they disappeared and carved that shit on the tree and never? Oh, fell? my gosh. One of those crazies. I was doing the notes for this earlier. Today in Bismarck and my girlfriend, I said, I'm doing the 13 colonies for notes for the podcast. And she was going on about some stupid ass tree. Yeah. couldn't pronounce it about something, something, something or another. Yeah. And I think it's what you're talking about. Rona, right they, they carved the word Croatoan in there. Yes. Croatoan. Yeah. Croatoan or, tree. Shannon's going to love that. You're saying this right now. But yeah, like, so basically the people who first started like the colonies, um, like a few guys left and they, they were went like to an st- island? no they so they were in it's in Virginia somewhere and they left and they said stay right here we're going to sail back to England for more supplies and we'll be right back in 3 or 4 months whatever they come back at, everybody's gone like not a trace like no dead bodies or anything like that but in one of the trees was carved croatoan and that was like the only evidence they ever had and those people just disappeared, never to be found. What does Still that mean? Still today. Yeah. Cro- they, don't, they don't know. Or maybe Croatone is like an island somewhere. But like they never found those people. Nathan, like you got to f- be on this. It's like the first Crouton. Good. That's what I'm wondering. Dude, how do you how do you leave such a, a small, like, no evidence whatsoever, except like you could leave a whole toilet paper roll of what you left. For evidence of like where you are, what's going on, and you ripped off part of a square, a square. and just threw it in there. Well, that's the difference. Croatoan. That's the difference. What does that even wipers mean? like me and wipers like you? You would do three, fold up your evidence, nail it to a tree. No, but you guys I'd leave are, them a damn book. Exactly. I go, I you know go over the belt, and you guys are sitting here going through the zip. <laughs> that's the difference. I wouldn't be caught dead. Listen, you know what? Now you got me fired up. I'm not in a competition to see how much <laughs> toilet paper I can use every time I go. Three squares. Use it once at you home. Fold it over hot dog wanna, style, and you use it again. I want at home. That's fine. If I'm here sh- at his bathroom taking a shit, there is no limit. Uh, I'm taking the whole. I'm taking out a six foot. I'm length. just saying. Mean, I want to. I'll leave. Scooby Doo mummy myself. I floss with it. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying. I want to leave my evidence where I'm sitting. You want to take your evidence with you. I want to leave no evidence. Yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> sounds right. What yeah. do you got? So, when I, I pulls up the evidence, he's like, Croton means this, and this is where they went, and this is where they found yeah. them. Well, <laughs> well, no, it's just like, uh, it says in 1585, they reached a new world and they just disappeared. And now, like, science is saying that because of some pottery they found, it's just like the survivors kind of just dissoluted into like different tribes of Indians uh, and just kind of spread out. And then Croatoan, that was what was on the tree, right? Yep. That just was the name of the island. Um, right, okay. Right. But like, they, but there's still like no trace. The best guess is that they, a few of them split off to join with different Indian tribes in the area. Yeah. That's the best guess. Yeah, or that they uh, died got off of disease, famine, or were victims of a deadly storm. Deadly storm. Or they got cannibalized. That's the craziest thing. Could you think, of, think about having to eat people? Isn't that such a crazy thing? Do all the time. I would never mentally be the same. No, you wouldn't. But like the Oregon Trail, right? Wasn't it the Oregon Trail? If someone ate you, (laughs) yeah. If someone if someone ate one of my legs, 
then I would look at all people <laughs> after that and say, not sure if I trust you anymore. Yeah. <laughs> the Donner Party is what you're referring but to. But it's then. the Oregon Trail, right? That's what they were on? Yeah, when they yep. were going over to Russia Gold, Broden, or Liam. Remember? And we shouldn't have ever stopped Russia <laughs> is what is No, what we should have had Miles Garrett on that shit. He would have had it all in no time. Yeah, the uh, the Donner Party, they started eating each other because they had no food and they got stuck in a snowstorm. How quick would you resort to cannibalism after your hard tax gone? Uh, I'd have to be out of any, any and all ration for a while. Well, to put you in their place, this is what it said, like, they were eating because they did go to great lengths to avoid eating their own dead. Um, they Wait, consumed a, their own dead. Yeah. So they're the, the pe- dead. they never yeah, killed the anybody, but they only, anybody. it was only people that died that they, ate. if they were already dead, man, well, lop, it's not a live feast. Lop, like, lop off the thigh and put it on the pit boss. Well, this is what they were eating I'm before. Ready. It was a glue like <laughs> substance made of boiled animal hides among with charred bones, twigs, leaves, and bark. So, so they're eating shit. Yeah. You're probably hitting you do that you're probably for hitting weeks and every point of the food pyramid there though. Eh, I mean Dead Timmy next to you is looking looking like something else. Yeah, he's looking like a roast ham. Yeah. Man. I can see him right now with a little bit of barbecue sauce on him. Yeah. Ron gets his hands on old yeah, Timmy. Maybe a couple yeah. of maybe a couple of sliced pineapples. I'm on just top, messed like some, up enough in the head to love me a good human leg bone. Now we're talking. Yeah. 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 yeah, bro, and I think you'd cave quicker than us. Is it? Ah, uh, yeah, probably. I wouldn't <laughs> give a shit <laughs> after I, a little while. I'd be sleeping with a shiv underneath my pillow. <laughs> next, I, to I would never, I would never kill you guys. I like you guys. You're my friends, but like, <laughs> if you brought like somebody stupid, like Pat Mahomes' wife in there, I yeah, I'd kill her to eat her. <laughs> yeah, if I had to. Yeah, you need her or her his little brother. You would eat Jackson Mahomes, yeah. If, I would. Like, dude, if I was starving, like those are the two people I'd probably go. Let's kill them first. They're <laughs> not of much value. Uh, you'd just be like, "Well, just put them up and let's take a vote." That'd let's take a vote on everybody. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Broden, and I choose them. Like at least Sorry. I can dude, sit dude, down and have a good time. Imagine being the guy where like, all right, everybody, should we, uh, should we eat Liam this week? <laughs> and everybody raises their hands. I just hoff it. I, I do a, <laughs> I do a one eighty and just start hoffing like it out. It's like a cartoon there. where all you hear is pew, and just then there's just a cloud of just smoke. a little bit of dust. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> start eating your dust. Yeah. Um, all right. It. So Jamestown talked about that a little bit. Uh, the expedition was sponsored by the Virginia Company of London, a business venture that hoped to find gold and silver deposits in the New World, as well as a river route to the spe- specific ocean. The Pacific Ocean for trade with Asia. Yeah, didn't they go over there? Like, they didn't go over there to start a new life. I think they got there and they're like, fuck Britain. Yeah, that's why they left. There was, yeah, I thought there was a few of them that left for, like, business opportunity, like you said. That's why they threw the tea over. Yeah. We're not doing this anymore. But no I, taxation without representation. Yep, yeah, that's exactly right. You nailed that, that, dude. Yeah, it feels good, dude. man. But, but they went over there. It wasn't like we're going over there so we can break away. Some people might have had that idea, but I think they went over there like, okay, we'll go explore for you. And then once they got there, they're like, fuck that. Let's I, stay here. I could have swore like some of the pilgrims or a good chunk of them at least were like, yeah, we need religious freedom because we don't want to be part of the Anglican church anymore. Yeah. But I think they couldn't fully say like, hey, we're breaking away from you because you suck. Because... It was sponsored by the people. It was sponsored by like Britain, like a company, the, whatever All, company. Like a hundred percent of those, like even every single trip that they took over there. No, just the, the first one, Jamestown. Okay. Uh, the three ships landed, with yeah. the Susan Doyle ship or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Susan Doyle. The Susan Boyle. <laughs> that was the biggest one. <laughs> the Godspeed and the Discovery. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I think they sponsored it saying yeah go find some stuff for us and then come back and they got there they're like hey man we're not coming back why would you i mean uh and then the first uh the first years they were there they faced some horrible things right the cigarette trees weren't producing yep just couldn't get the vines to sprout 
and John Hancock or whoever, John Wilkes Booth. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the one dude that married Pocahontas. Uh, he was over there. John going, Smith. Yeah. Smoke him if you got him. And they're like, <laughs> we don't got him, John. And then <laughs> drink him up. Can't stay here. Yep. Uh, but no, the first years are bad. Starvation. The winter of 1609 to 1610, known as the starving time. Uh, was very harsh. 500 colonists living in Jamestown at the beginning of the winter, only 60 survived. Damn. Yeah. They're Not good. Dropping like flies. They, were just they started good. with 100? 500. 500 down to 60 after the first winter. That's, that's not like, a good batting average. That's like 440 people. Do you think they got over there and they're like, this is not good. We didn't really account for winter. Was there? Are there winters in Britain like that, I wonder? I think the winters in Britain got to be more severe than the eastern middle part of the United States. You think Britain's more severe than us? Yeah, I think they're a little bit north. They're more north than Is that where they the were average from? part. Yeah. Britain? England, Britain. I don't know what they are. Are England and Britain the same? Uh, Not everybody who lives in England is part of... No, everybody who lives in England is part of Britain, but not everybody who lives in Great Britain is part of England. The old square rectangle, rectangle yes. square. So mm. according to, it's just the UK seasons, uh, it usually gets uh, about to the freezing point. 32. Yeah. Degrees. That's it? <clears throat> yeah, it just says zero degrees Celsius. Well, it's got to be about like what? I could, I could stand out there. Yeah. That's yeah. got to be like about what like Virginia gets or... Like around that area, right? Dude, it snows what's the, what's, in New York. What's the, yeah, I was going to say, what's the coldest it gets in the Mideast? Like, let, do Virginia. That's Mid-East. where they were, right? What's <laughs> what's the coldest Virginia? Like the Middle East? Like Dubai? Or like, do you mean the Middle Eastern part of the 30 Like, we're in the Midwest, <laughs> so what about over there? <laughs> the Mideast, I like that. I'm curious, because, I mean, were these people dropping like flies, and it was like 30 degrees. Yeah, the you, central of the eastern soft, seaboard. if you were. But yeah, then you don't oh, you feel for them as much. Dig a hole in the ground and so you get some shelter. You're fine. In Virginia, in winter nights, seldom fall below freezing, and daytime winter temperatures often reach 45 to 50 degrees. So it's not like it was even warmer there than that's it was. That's a vacation. Yeah, but, that's but at night, they were cold. Okay, huddle. <laughs> a a fire. Call a play. We're <laughs> fine, dude. Are you kidding me? Yeah. 440 40. people died? Yeah. This is also in 40 degree 400 weather? 400 years ago. Yeah. Dude, you, okay, n- listen, none of these people that came over here on this boat have not experienced a winter. That's, they came that's from somewhere. What, no, I agree with you 100% on so that they, part. They, they knew <laughs> they what came, they were getting into. Yeah, they came from a place that was even colder on average in the winter. Yeah, it's. Yeah. The winters compared to what they were used to is it's literally the same. It and they had that many freezing. people. And but you're could. going into a place that's got no place to so live. So my guess you, is but that. But you're going into a place with four, 400, 500 people and you don't have a singular nice shelter. There's trees everywhere. You don't have a nice shelter to hunker down and just cuddle. So stay yeah, warm. Yeah, but even if you like put my, some walls My guess is it. that, like, Dude. you know, the guys that were in the movie with Johnny Knoxville, I think it was called The Ringer. Yep. They had a bunch of those guys. <laughs> had to had to because yeah. that's, yeah. Old, that's my only explanation this if isn't you came making any sense to a better weather place and still died in the winter it's like me moving to florida and dying this january yeah, yeah exactly that's what i'm getting at not a chance so yeah. obviously you're a little bit you know yeah. fucking stupid you could drop me Sorry in alaska about the and i'd find a way but the thing is they didn't die from the cold they died from starvation Dude, eat something. Well, it's not cold enough. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> it's not cold Just enough to eat. go hunting. There's squirrels everywhere. Look how many trees there are. Have you ever tried to catch a squirrel? No, but I've shot a couple winter, of them. So they're hunkered down. I always think, like, this is before the time, even, like, in, like, the first wars, the medical or anything was, like, so advanced that the most you could do for an infection in your foot was cut off your leg. Yeah. And yeah. then you still might die from an infection from that. Gangrene. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just, to me, like, Let's just think about our decisions a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure they were short on that. They're like, oh, we should have thought about this. Well, I just don't see how you could lose 440 people in five months. Yeah. Don't Do, feed them. I, I guess. Yeah, maybe you're trying to get rid of them. I don't know. This guy came over here. He was like, oh, man, they're all stupid. Uh they also had. Some, let's not do food for a little bit. See they what had happens. some conflict with the natives as well. 
This was, but they're like at the same level, basically. <laughs> you know what I mean? Wasn't no, this a time where you could just I call don't. witchcraft on anybody and just they'd be killed? Yeah, oh, Salem witchcraft. That was the other yeah, thing. I don't like yeah. my neighbor. Witchcraft. I think that was a little bit past. Once they have more a established. little bit more venison than me. That's. They had to have had like some type of firearm, though, didn't they? By then, the England settlers, Ooh. English settlers, and I'm sure they came with some. Exact. How else were they killing the natives? So kill an animal. Yeah, Eat. but animals are small and hard to get, man. Not a deer. <laughs> Dude, I've shot squirrels with my bow. You're a trained professional. That's true. My bow was also I bet 300 you- <laughs> years more advanced than <laughs> yeah. any of theirs. Go bend a stick in my yard and tie a string to it and then try to kill a squirrel. Okay. Tent, Dude, guaranteed, I bet you- Guaranteed I could do it. Yeah, if you had to do that for survival- Guaranteed probably get pretty good at it. Guaranteed I could do it. You're apparently not quick right? enough. Did like if you had to do something and your life was staked on it, yes or no, would you at least try to get really good at it? If you dropped me in Jamestown, Virginia in sixteen oh nine right now, I would have died. If I had to figure out how to catch a squirrel without having any prior knowledge on how simple. to catch a squirrel. So simple. Imagine you have no it, it, prior knowledge just, on how to catch a squirrel. He takes him up to Washington DC and he goes Alex Ovechkin's going to play right here in like 300 <laughs> years, guys. You have no idea. And they're like, who? It's true. Which? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And they, which? which? They couldn't even know how to even say that word. Some but I'm just Russian saying, dude. I'm just saying, that's not like they were world-class hunters. They might not have been, dude, but depending on when they got here, they had time. Yeah. Could have figured just, it out. Yeah. Well, let's move on from them sucking at surviving. Yeah. What else? Disease. Okay, Marshy that, location. that might do it. Jamestown is a breeding ground for diseases, particularly malaria. Mm. The mosquitoes? Uh, is that what that's from? I, yeah. I think that's mosquitoes. Nile, it's big spread. No, mosquitoes do malaria a little what's, bit. What's they West dabble. Nile? They, I think they do that, too. They dabble. They branch out. Mosquitoes are good at carrying diseases, man. Mosquitoes are the biggest killer of people in the world. Um. All right. Let's move to tobacco, yeah? <laughs> oh, cigarettes. Here we go. Uh, 1612, John Rolfe began experimenting with growing tobacco. By 1614, he had developed a strain that was popular in England, turning the colony's fortunes around. Tobacco became the pri- colony's primary export and economic backbone. And that's where Marlboro came from. From John Rolfe. Yeah, Actually, John Marlboro. Tried to call it Rolfeboro. Yeah. What do you... you think I'm, I'm done with you two <laughs> swindling me on Sox. things that I... Yeah, exactly. No, no more socks. Seriously? I love having that kind of power S-O-N-K. over you. Sonk. I thought you said socks. I did. Okay. Um, Pocahontas. Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Wood. Just kidding. <laughs> Why come, huh? 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 Why are you just kidding? Just kidding. Why? Why I come, did you say? Yeah. Why come? Yeah. I have a girlfriend. <laughs> oh. Okay. But back then, if you were in the 13 colonies... If I, was, if I was in the 13 colonies and single and I haven't seen a woman in 48 months. Yeah. And it's Pocahontas and she's underage. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> she was when John Smith got a hold of her. I think she's 14. Yeah. You see the things I would say now. I don't know if that's true. Is it? That oh, was not okay John, back John, then. Rol- John Rolf married her. Yeah. That John was, oh, that was like, okay. That was, yeah, that was okay. For Back then. Obviously, we know now that, you know, messed up. Don't do that. But back then, like, it wasn't considered to be. It was a thing. 25 with a 12-year-old or whatever they did. I don't know. How did she get to Lewis and Clark status? That was the Kakawea. You Uh, (laughs) fuck, man. (laughs) Tomato, tomato. Man. (laughs) Man. (laughs) Oh, I was uh, gonna say a joke, but I can't. can't go go ahead. Can't. No, join join us. Go ahead. Join yeah, us. No, I'll text yeah. We already did a Patreon joke on the podcast. <laughs> it's ahead. your turn. I'm not yeah. doing it. Filters are off. I'm Let's go. Filters, my filters on. Um decline. <laughs> Big puss. Giant pussy. Uh, got a fucking reputation read, Yeah, something. just read the notes. Yeah. Got some kind of yeah, business. I'm gonna, yeah. gonna just read. Yeah. Uh John Smith. Yeah, nice mustache. You guys know who he is? Thanks. John Smith. They yeah, probably said a lot of jokes about Pocahontas. Yeah, probably did. 
<laughs> Can you guys stop <laughs> like trying to seduce me through these hey, microphones and saying my it. joke? Um, Smith joined an expedition in December 1606 to establish the Jamestown Colony in Virginia. He was aboard one of the three ships, the Susan Constant. Susan, Susan Constant Bo- Common. Susan Boyle. The T. Susan, um, I'm saying. Susan Doyle. Once in Virginia, Smith's leadership was crucial for the colony's survival. He emphasized hard work with his statement, he that will not work shall not eat. We should have kept that True. one going. True. Yeah. So apparently yeah. there just must have been not a lot of people working. 440 people. Now working. people that don't work were like, have more. Yeah. Yeah. Now I, I'll I go give to, you I go some work, of mine. Yeah. I go to work so other people can eat and do nothing. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty cool how we totally, you know, about face from that. Super great. <laughs> God. You guys see, this seems to be a big thing for you. Well, yeah. I'm not a fan of supporting other people's lazy lifestyles with my yeah. excessively unlazy lifestyle. If I go and bust my ass for 60 hours next week and they tax me $800 off of my check to feed someone that doesn't work and doesn't give a shit about their life. Makes sense. <laughs> let's let's <laughs> throw Makes all sense. of them at Roanoke and they can carve Crotone into a tree and we'll forget about and not give a shit wherever they disappear and to. They'll dissolve into the land. Yeah. Perfect. They can be fertile. At- they can eat each other. Yep. They can be fertile. Mm, I hope not. <laughs> God. Uh, that's the better, problem. They're way too fertile. Yeah. You got to <laughs> feed them and their 80 other kids yeah, that they had. Because the more they have, the more they get from us. Yeah. Working on the government. Uh, Smith extensively mapped the Chesapeake. Not a political podcast. Uh, Ch- is it Chesapeake? 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 Uh, I think you think Chesapeake Bay? Clam chowder. That's where it was made. Smith extensively mapped the Chesapeake Bay area with his charts uh, being used for nearly a century. He penned several books, including A True Relation of Virginia. Providing first-hand accounts of early colonial America. I should read that book. I wonder if you could still get your hands on it. Guaranteed. They got to have a copy somewhere. You yeah. know those people that collect really old books? That'd be a fun Libraries? Hobby. I watch this dude. <laughs> Libraries. <laughs> I think they're big into that for sure. <laughs> yeah. You guys got a I'm book? Just... Let me see that. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Let me hold on to that. Yeah. What's that over there? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put that next to the other book. I want to start my own library, like a small one. You got one going underneath your TV. Like the size of a room. They're all like fake. No. Oh. <laughs> they all got holes cut in them? Just one. Oh, I know. Yeah, which one? yourself too. now. Yeah. You got to find which if one. If I break in. It, there's 13 of them, though, so it might take you some time. <laughs> Don't try and steal. Shh. Don't steal. You know there's what? There's nothing in it now. <clears throat> do, you know, do you know for a fact that it's 13 books? Dude, I don't know. It could be 40. Exactly. Because here's the thing. We're doing the topic on the 13 colonies. And like two or three times now, we've used 13 as an, as an example number just because it's been right, right at the tip. Yeah. Yeah. You remember that scene from that movie? Will Smith was in it. And he made that bet. And he said, yep. pick out a number of Chicken anyone in the, the field. Yep. And but before that, he had planted the number, whatever, 55 everywhere somehow before that he had got to the field. So it was always right there psychologically. Can't remember what movie it was. It's a good movie. I don't remember the name of it either. It's got Margot Robbie the in it, The only time I've it? ever seen it. Does it really? No, only I don't think. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does. The Nathan, the if there was ever a time to shine, it's right now. Do your job, dude. I think uh, I've <laughs> only seen that movie on TikTok. Yeah, me too. I don't it's know the only time the, I've seen that scene. I don't know if I've seen any other movie. You mean I... Will that? Smith, Margot Robbie movie. I don't. Is Margot Robbie really in it? I swear, because I've seen this movie on TikTok, just like you guys. Have. Just type in Will Smith tricks Focus. Chinese man into. Yep. <laughs> it's called Focus. Boom! Focus. I knew it. It's exactly what you said it was. I knew it. Yeah. You gotta focus. Fly me, uh, <laughs> bollocks! But yeah, that's. I like that. The subconscious. It's always there. Your yep. subconscious is always there. Ridiculous. The best. We don't need to get into that, though. We'll save that for the psychology episode. Yep. That'd be a good one. Uh, pilgrims. I Bye. always liked the word pilgrims. You remember in John uh, Wayne? school when we'd grow up and one people, someone dress up as pilgrims and someone dress up as Indians? Yep. In elementary school? Yep. And you'd sit at a long table? Nope. And do the Thanksgiving feast again? Yeah. Yep. I remember. I it did like it. It was like a speed dating type setup. We did that? 
Yeah. I don't know if you, what school, elementary school did you go to? Sunnyside. No. Yeah. Well, Makes sense. <laughs> yeah. There was a lot of crime yeah. with Sunnyside <laughs> Elementary. <laughs> you guys were fighting grew, for a seat. I grew up in the hood. Yeah. yeah. We did it in first grade and second grade. I remember it, but I don't think we did it after that. I got a good photo. I think I was a... Because it was probably around that time that they realized... I was a pilgrim. A I knew. Idea. I, I, I refused to be, to be the other side. Yeah. Wouldn't do it. I wanted to be a pilgrim. They had a cooler suit, I thought. Suit, yeah. Like it was armor. Yeah, I remember dressing almost. up and I was like, I'm a pilgrim. Yeah, just Hell like yeah. a piece of brown paper on my head. That's it? Yeah. Yeah. Walked in with my Well, musket. I had a shirt. I had like a paper shirt. And I said, give me your belongings. Yeah. <laughs> Give me your land. How would you make me a giant feast? (laughs) Um, I'll take a scoop of pie on my ice cream. Have you seen Scott Pilgrim's big... What's the movie called, Nathan? Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. world. Yeah. Don't look it up. They found it for me. Have you seen that movie? Yeah. Yes. Is it good? Yeah, it actually is. Pretty funny, yeah. It's an Edgar Wright movie. I think I should watch it. It's it's good. Do you like Michael Cera? Put that on the list. I love Michael Cera. Then, yeah. yeah. I got to watch one before that. You got to watch a few. Yeah, yeah, there's 37 of them. We got to stop telling you things to watch. You're not going to watch it, dude. We could put it's mostly cheap. Liam. He's really, like, actually disappointed. <sighs> After the podcast it. one night, he was telling me, he's like, dude, like. Well, don't air out dirty laundry. No. Yeah, talk. we're airing it's out. Fresh. Yeah. It's fresh. It's <laughs> fresh. Set he's it like, in the driveway. He's like, dude, I, right I tell him these good shows and movies to watch. And you told just me to give a shit. You told me Chernobyl and The Punisher. There's yeah. been more than that. But. And more than that, yeah. Yeah, but those are not... Whatever. You're no. not as committed to the other ones. You don't care. No, but Chernobyl, Whatever. he's highly... And so is The Punisher. The Punisher is a really good movie, actually. You're a big fan of the MCU, aren't you? The Marvel comic universe? Cinematic, but yeah. <laughs> yes, apparently. Yeah. Watch The Punisher. It's got some <laughs> cool Easter eggs if you... Is it in the MCU? No, it's not a part of the MCU. Uh, okay. Not the TV show. Don't with John Bernthal. Don't watch the TV show. I'm talking about the movie from like what is it like 2001? <laughs> Around there, give or take. Is it with a bald guy? No, no. Who's the main actor? Doesn't matter, dude. Couldn't watch. Tell I'm you. just trying to see if I'm like picturing it in my head. He wears a red and white striped shirt, like Waldo. Doesn't he? <laughs> Doesn't he wear a shirt I'm like that? Of the Russian. <laughs> He wears a Swedish. The Russian he does. wears a Swiss yes, flag. Yes, yeah, yeah, he does. Yeah. He wears a Swiss flag. Dude, what are you doing tomorrow? Uh, Like what time? I don't care. I'm working tomorrow. Do you have a little bit of free time? Well, we're going to film a podcast tomorrow. At Shit, night. you're right, yeah. What are you doing in the day? Working. Don't. Don't. Here's <laughs> the thing. Don't. Uh, I'll do Tuesday night. Sure. If if I get reminded, I'll watch The Punisher on Tuesday night. Okay. What about your novel? You get to that eventually. Come on here. You even let's cross said, our T's listen, before we start dotting our eyes. I'm not. I'm not trying to. How much do you want me? To I'm do not trying to night? ask you too much. No, I'm just saying. Are you going to get back to it? I will get back to because it because I'd really appreciate it if you did. I will get back to it, and I think you'd be doing a favor to yourself because when you start something like that, that is not only historically accurate, but as far as cinematically from, accurate. Yeah. Gorgeous. I mean, cinem- cinematography in that movie is beautiful. Show it's a masterpiece. Incredible. Yeah. I agree. Yeah, I think. You, you should, what I do you mean you agree? agree? I watched the first episode, bro, so I can agree. Uh, how about watch seven more and then put your opinion on the same level? Well, you mine. tell me. Do you has want me to watch Chernobyl it? or do you want? No, she hasn't. No, watch. You're there watch every week. Chernobyl first. Chernobyl or the Punisher? Chernobyl. You can watch the Punisher by yourself. I think Chernobyl would be cool for Shayna because she was homeschooled. But, okay, so now, <laughs> now, now. <laughs> So it'd be news search. Be like, what's this thing? Holy what is, shit. There's places outside of the United States. <laughs> Ukraine did what? Yeah. Um, I It's going to be hard to get that far because we watch suits. Um, fair. Anytime we watch anything. Okay, fair. But let me get the Punisher. I'll get that domino effect going. Please. And then I'll get on momentum the is momentum. pleasing train. And then you know the third stop. I'm due to get pleasured. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to watch the Punisher first. Please do. Um, all right. Uh, what else we got on here? Pilgrims. We haven't talked much about them. Um, what do they wear? Usually heavy, heavy cloth. Bucket hats and silly Oakley hats. sunglasses. Yeah. <laughs> Pilf helmets. <laughs> Pilf. Um, they established the Plymouth Colony in December of 1620, which became the first permanent English settlement in New England. 
Uh, before disembarking, the Pilgrims wrote and signed the Mayflower, Mayflower Compact, a pioneering document for self-governance in the New World. That's cool. That's a cool name for a document. A compact? Yeah. Yeah. I Like, listen, man, we're going to go over here, and you're not going to give a flying shit about us. I don't say the F word. Not on here. <laughs> But we're going to go over here and we're basically going to kill ourselves. But do not care. That's okay. a ba- <laughs> Do us, not care about let us. Let us do it. We're going to bring like five, six hundred, seven hundred, a thousand. It doesn't matter. I can say we'll whatever I want. 90% of them by the first winter. Yeah. The Don't idiots will that. weed themselves out clearly because if you just look ahead like 300 years from now, we're spitting out all the smartest idiots in the world. But quit giving a shit and about Liam's us. working for them. <laughs> Maybe <clears throat> could be true. As a, uh, I'm a sleep agent, <laughs> sleeper agent. Yeah, sleep I'm just, I'm agent. just, I'm just <laughs> Liam. You're in action right now. <laughs> Liam's melatonin. <laughs> it's a sleep agent, dude. Liam, I'm just, I'm get just, him. And they're, just, and they're collecting info. Ah, gosh. And, and then he walks I'm out. At and closet he goes, genius. I was a closet genius. Asleep. Yeah, I heard everything you said. <laughs> you thought I was sleeping, didn't you? Uh, I'm the sleep. I'm agent. not a sleeping agent. <laughs> I'm a sleeper agent. Uh, the Pilgrims <laughs> formed a mutually beneficial relationship with the Wampanoag tribe. Squanto, bro, you know who Squanto is? Hell yeah, that dude is cool as hell. Member of the tribe, uh, played a vital role by teaching the settlers how to fish and cultivate crops in the region. It's kind of like the middleman. Yep, he was the. They liaison. taught him some English, and the he liaison. taught them some. I love that word liaison. That's what I said. You ever seen Criminal Minds? <laughs> no. No. Oh, okay. Well, never mind then. Tell me about it. Should I watch it? Yeah, actually. I'm not going to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, first Thanksgiving, 1621, oh. a year later. Mm-hmm. Uh, after their first successful harvest, the Pilgrims and Wampanoag celebrated what is now known as the first Thanksgiving. Cool. That's when they all got together. Got cornucopia. They didn't even have a turkey. Cornucopia. Yeah, how did turkeys come about? I don't know, but they I know they had around. goose and duck and deer, but they didn't have a turkey. Bunch of frogs. Are you serious? Yeah, like dead serious. There was no turkey there. So when did that come into play? 1622. Someone um, someone wanted the turkey to be the national bird. Dumb. I want to say it was Ben Terrible, Franklin. Because they're yeah, stupid as hell and not nearly as majestical. Stay on the 100. Stay on the 100, dude. But don't tell us our bird's going to be the turkey. Uh yeah, and I want to see it was Ben Franklin. It was Ben Franklin said the tur- said let's do the turkey as the no. national bird. Okay, I want like obviously the bald eagle is cool as hell to have as a, a national bird. Yep. I want you to name at least like two or three other birds that would be better than a turkey. Falcon. Boom. For sure. Yep. Falcon punch. That's one. Sick. Oh, hold up. It's uh, it's false actually. What? Um, people took it the wrong way. It was actually in a letter that he sent to his daughter, and it was criticizing the original eagle design for the great seal for the letters because when it was stamped, it looked more like a turkey. Uh, oh, so he was like, no, F the turkey. Yeah, he's like, why is this thing? No, F the eagle that looks like a turkey. Oh, okay. we got to make this eagle look yeah. more yeah. like ben, an eagle. But people just said he wanted right a turkey to be. He was yeah. all right then. Mm. Yeah. All right, all right. But even still, I, I'll keep we got hearts. the falcon. What Falcon. else? Two other birds that are cooler than a turkey, but maybe not as cool as the bald eagle. Penguin. They got to at least be around the area. Pheasant. Okay. Pheasants look cool. Pheasants. A rooster looks Pheasants actually cool, cool. dude. I love... Is a rooster a pheasant? A ro- yeah, a rooster pheasant. It's like the saying... Fe- the I- pheasant is the... Child family of the, of the is the family of the bird, so it's the pheasant, and then there's the hen and the rooster. Just like the there's a the chicken, female, the rooster is the male. There's oh, just like a chicken. So hen a, and rooster are not. Our hen is a female, rooster is a male. Yeah. So that doesn't. That's not specifically for chickens. No, no. That's for really? like mostly all upland. Yep. Or so, farm. Oh, uh-huh, really? Yep. So like, if you talk about like a a woodpecker. They, I don't know, because it varies from species to species. Let's do woodpecker on my list. Really? Woodpe- Dude, woodpecker Dude. looks all right. What they other animal do you know can just constantly pile drive its nose into a piece of wood? And still- Liam. 
a bald eagle. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You're funny. Got jokes in there. The wood's a little yeah. bit lower than his nose. <laughs> funny. <Yeah. laughs> Both of you, huh? Dude, uh, I didn't I didn't mean it. Yeah. I just piggybacked. Yeah, all right. You know what? I've always been a fan of the yellow finch. <laughs> I think it's always been a really pretty looking bird. That's what Atticus was named after. Atticus That's right. Finch? Yeah. yeah. Who? And Atticus Jam? Finch. 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 Who's that? And from To Kill a Mockingbird. Yeah. Speaking of that, Mockingbird, throw that on there. What about a parrot? Or you used to have a parrot. No, parrots. Parrots no, aren't even from parakeet. here. Parakeet. <laughs> parakeet. I was say. Is that like a female parrot? A little bitch ass parrot. <laughs> yeah. No. <laughs> Not even uh, indigenous to this. My <laughs> uncle. My uncle had like a full on parrot. Dude. Can that we, was like 45 years old. Can we go back to bro and have a parakeet? How awesome that was. It wasn't even mine. It was my sister's. But it was. What a, it was house. cool what as a hell. a horrible though. animal to have. Because my parents used to yell at my brother so much because my brother got into a lot of trouble <laughs> that it learned how to say my brother's know. name that's funny that it was cool as hell. That, be like, parakeets it, can do that yeah oh hell yeah dude parakeets <laughs> are like <laughs> parakeets are like yeah the Small walmart parrots, parrots. yeah but they, they he'd be sitting there and you'd just be like connor and then you'd be like the hell? you're serious yeah like he said my brother's i didn't name know they lot. could do that no Broden yeah. was, wow. was one step away from a pirate ship Oh, dude! If I, off, dude, dude, if I wouldn't, if he, if, if he had one less hand, <laughs> and one yeah. less eye, dude, yeah, I'm telling you, I am <laughs> the closest. <laughs> Broden would have been a board. <laughs> Broden's got a peg leg, a hook hand, and an eye patch, and he would have been <laughs> sure as shit. He would have been either one on a pirate ship or on the cast of Dodgeball as yeah. Pirate Steve. Oh, I would have beat the shit out of Pirate Steve. Oh, Guaranteed, you were fully pirate at that no, point. I'm, I'm. I wouldn't be surprised if you would have used your hook to be spinning Sunday night I bingo. Am, I am <laughs> seriously. I'm. There's a place for you in this. He's society, been picking man, locks for you. sure. I am one. It doesn't even have to be all of them. I'm one amputation away from being a pirate. I think most people are. No, most people are two or three, like he said. Except pirates. I'm one. Yeah, you can amputate my eye, my hand, or my leg. And you're going all in. One of the three, and I'm there. So, yeah, you'd think we would need three or three? At least two. Two for three, yeah. Yeah. We, we, we lack the... Uh, but I'm I'm less just, likely... Yeah. The something <laughs> that we need to be pirates. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely have the heart for a pirate. But I also, I think I have more of a... a the yearn a, for treasure. Broden has it. Yeah, I might piss a little more, yeah. What? Yeah. Well, you said urine. Oh, I said urine. <laughs> oh, the urine to be a pirate. Yeah. yeah. Pissing's cool, but <laughs> I, why I think I'm less likely legs? to do scurvy too. People do what? Why don't people do peg legs anymore? You see them doing these cool feet. <laughs> they help them walk. Yeah, but like. <laughs> But no, you see like nice. That's that's a great three thousand dollar leg. But how about that stick of wood in your backyard, dude? Would have cost you much less, dude. I'm why? sure your hip would feel terrible. What I'm saying, if I could cut off below the knee, like right here, yeah, what stopped me from getting a wooden leg? The, me? The, Not a damn thing. <laughs> the, the fact that you thing. would have a that's wooden my first leg. Choice. <laughs> I'm not saying like if you get cut off at the thigh, you wouldn't want a, a, a straight a leg. Very, leg. That'd, be a two, that'd be a full two by four. I would dude. love to just bend a straight wooden leg yeah, right but here. Say you get like right here where I'm just doing this and like there's none of this. Uh, I think still cool le- cool wooden leg is way better. Yeah, than but that's where our listeners miss out and our watchers are really getting the experience. <laughs> yeah, here. like I'm over here just swinging leg. But I'm saying, yeah, if I get cut but chopped below the knee where I still have that flexibility, 100% go peg like. Why would you not? Because, okay, I'm telling you right now. I'll tell you, realistically, this is why. You can do this with your feet. Yep. There's a lot. There's tendons and muscles that make that happen that go from your ankle up to your knee. Yep. So if you have a dowel stick of a leg, <laughs> if you have a bl- if you have a, a wood, broomstick. Yeah, if you have a broomstick attached to your knee, your knee's going to suffer and then your hip and then the entire rest of your body in correlation is going to just be but how is that how is that any different from you sticking a piece of metal down there because the metal actually moves and acts as compresses this yeah, yeah. like exactly. Oscar Pistorius 
So basically, yeah, if you get a li- yeah, if you get like a little like, I don't know, hypothetical foot underneath, you have to stab your girlfriend a bunch. Is that what I'm getting at? <laughs> yeah, that's what? why. I would, that's why I'd stay away from it. <laughs> That's what why are we talking? You don't know who Oscar Pistorius is. Oscar Pistorius is an Olympic, special uh, Olympic champion. He's yeah. got two blown off legs, two fake legs, not the peg version. No, but like the he, version you're talking about. Did he step on a landmine? No. He killed his girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. And then they and then said. And they took his legs away? Or? <laughs> was like, here's no, he killed him both legs. Your, <laughs> we can put you in prison or <laughs> chop your legs off. <laughs> and he goes, mm. <laughs> I really want to go grocery shopping for the rest of my life. So how would you chop these six no, suckers off? Huh? No, yeah. he no, he was a, a veteran, a, a Vietnam veteran that ran, and then he got his legs blown off in Vietnam at, in the yeah. Olympics. No, after he was in, in the Olympics, <laughs> the the one mile run was through a land field, yeah, land mine field. What whoever whoever didn't die to shove one. bamboo through his knees, uh, yeah. but he lost his legs in the war. Of what? In that in uh, 1812. <laughs> <laughs> and they gave him his Canadian They gave him his metal feet and shit, and he ran real good, but uh, he also stabbed real good. So, yeah. <laughs> well, he still had his arms. I think he stabbed her a lot, too. <laughs> yeah, like a lot, a lot. Now he's in prison forever. Oh. Yeah. He ain't going very far. He's a war hero. He's going further than he would if a peg leg. I would, I'd still go I peg leg. Know. I'd still go peg leg. If it didn't. Cost me any. What if you had a cane? What about it? Would that help your hip problem you're trying to solve? What if I gave you a pirate hat (laughs) and a parrot (laughs) on your shoulder? That too, free, free parrot. Uh, maybe give you a map with one big red X. (sighs) How far is it away? It's for you to find out. Okay, I'm tempted. You you (laughs) know I'm I'm tempted now now. You know it's there, and we but give you, you don't know, know where it's there. Now, am I am I traveling with two or maybe three other people? And then you every, have a navigator. Every other day, I go. We're close. You're traveling with. We the, gotta keep going. I'm gonna give you yeah a navigator. Uh, a long telescope thing. Yep. <laughs> and what's it called? An eyeglass. An eyeglass. <laughs> yep. You're gonna get a navigator that has one of those. A, a, a chef. Now I'm sold on the pipe. And a cigarette tree. Tree or vin? Vine. Yeah, Same we'll thing. give you a vine. We'll give you the vine. We'll give you <laughs> the, the plural. Vine. I think the vine is going to pr- produce more cigarettes, honestly, if you just take care of it with general maintenance. And uh, also one Hustler magazine. I'll give you that. Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I was straw sold. that broke the camel's back. I was sold with the pipe. Yep. That's pretty sweet, yeah, actually. I'll go. Yeah. I'll Do go. you think you'd find it? 100%. Yeah. You t- you, I, got a, I got a vineyard that produces cigarettes. I'm never stopping. <laughs> it's yeah. true. Um. All right. So let's talk about maybe wrap this up here with uh, the Boston Massacre and a couple of the riots. Boston Massacre. Uh, what? What else are we talking <laughs> right. about? I thought we were talking about the colonies. This is the colonies. The Boston Massacre? This is like just before the revolution where yeah. we became the United States. 1776. They were running a marathon. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a different Boston Massacre. That's the Boston <laughs> Marathon bombing massacre. Oh. <laughs> Carry on. Then. This Boston Massacre happened March 5th, 1770. Dude, people didn't run for fun 200 years ago. That's the other downfall of civilization. Yeah, you're like running this exhausting bullshit activity. <laughs> super fun and maybe get blown up. Yeah. You got to. Hey, so risk. Reward. That sucked. And uh, I quit doing that. That's is, why. I, is the Boston massacre. Did that start with the shot heard around the world, Broden? Do you know? Um, The shot heard around the world would have been the first shot of the Revolutionary War in Paul Revere. Yeah. No. Paul Revere is on there. Paul but, Revere was not the guy that said the British are coming, by the yeah, way. Yeah. No, no he was not. But uh, the shot heard around the world was was somewhere in New Hampshire, New Jersey, somewhere around there. Not related. Not to the Boston Massacre. No, the Boston Massacre was when they killed a bunch of people for breaking some laws. And that's what kind of. So it started a confrontation between British, British soldiers and Boston residents. 
sparked by tensions from the Townsend Towns Townsend 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 Axe taxes. What was that? I wonder. What are the Townsend Axe taxes, Nathan? Taxes on sugar, Towns tea. Is- okay, we're, we only got a couple minutes. It'll be all right. Uh, do you not want the audience to know you have to piss? Let's go. Liam's got to piss. I'll tell you guys right now, I got to piss real bad. So Taxes we're going to wrap what? this episode up. Townsend Axe. We'll just skip it. It's fine. Uh, argument escalated. British troops fired, killing five civilians. Paul Revere's engraving fueled colonial sentiments against British rule. Uh, the Pine Tree Riot. 1772, two years Something later. Something to do with sap. Uh, yep. They were taking all their sap and they got pissed. Which is pretty much it. Uh, protest against British regulations on cutting white pine trees. So basically, the British stupid asses were doing shit to us. And after a little bit, we got fed up. We de- we decided George Washington yeah. us would kick all your British asses. Yeah, frick and the now British. look at us. Yeah. Flip yeah. off British people. <laughs> <laughs> Wish they would. And that's it. And that's what we did. And now look at us. 200 years later, uh-huh. we made this podcast. More and you're all years. you're all hightailing it out yeah. of here. 250. If you're British, get some right here, baby. <laughs> and come find me. Yeah. Tell that to Go you right now. Go every time so others may every, every time. time. Get some. Boom. 1776. Three years will be the yeah. 250 year anniversary. Back to back World War champs, all because of the Boston Tea Party. We didn't enjoy your two percent taxes now, but now we do forty percent taxes. <laughs> yeah. so suck it. But now our own government <laughs> pounds us. Yeah, just right in the yeah. ass. You want to buy a house? We're gonna take all your money. <laughs> and I go, sounds great. Thank you. <laughs> Where do I sign? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, yeah. Let's wrap up with the Boston Tea Party. So December 16, 1773. Defiant response to the Tea Act of 1773, a group of Massachusetts colonialists disguised as Mohawk Indians boarded three British ships, dumping 342 chests of tea into the Boston Harbor. Yep. I didn't know. We'll do it again. (laughs) We'll dress as Indians again. Why did they dress as Indians? Probably just to throw them off the trail. Yeah. (laughs) Or get them off the the cigarette mine. Yeah. Yeah. This act was not only a protest against the unpopular tax, but also a broader demonstration against taxation without representation. Boom. Boom. School, baby. British government's uh, retaliatory measure was the imposition of the coercive or intolerable acts. The event signified galvanized public opinion and heightened revolutionary sentiments throughout the colonies. Yep. And that takes us into the Revolutionary War. Where we kick some ass. Mm-hmm. Where we, spoiler alert, we won. Yep, right yeah. here. Pop and nickels, British, baby. If you're USA. British, yeah, I brought something for you. There it is. Yep, and we'll do it again. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we'll have to do an episode on the Revolutionary War, but that's all we got for the 13 colonies. Like, comment, subscribe. Liam's Buy some merch. We'll see you guys next week.